In this video, I'll show you how to add any streaming service to your Steam Deck library. The first thing you'll need to do is to boot your Steam Deck into desktop mode. To do this, hold down the power button and select Switch to Desktop. Once in desktop mode, you can use the touchpad as a mouse and bring up the on-screen keyboard by holding the Steam button and pressing X. Alternatively, you can connect a keyboard and mouse. If you don't already have a browser installed on your Steam Deck, you'll need to install one. Just head into the Discover Store and select one from there. I'll be using Microsoft Edge. Once you have a browser, launch it and browse to mudeck.com. From here, you'll need to click on the download option Choose SteamOS, click OK to this prompt, and the file will download. Open your Downloads folder and copy the file to your desktop. Run the file, click Continue on this prompt, and wait for Emudeck to install. Once it launches, you'll need to select Cloud Services Manager. You may need to click the icon in the taskbar if this doesn't appear. Select Change Settings and click OK. Here, you'll need to select an installed browser. This is the browser that will be used when launching any of your streaming services from your Steam library. Click OK and then select Manage Cloud Services. In here, simply tick all of the streaming services that you'd like to appear in your Steam library. Once you're done, click OK, click OK to this message, OK again, and now back in MUDEC, you'll need to select Steam ROM Manager. Click yes to this message, and it should launch. Within Steam ROM Manager, make sure that the Cloud Services Parser is enabled. Then select Preview and Parse. This should import the list of streaming services you selected in the previous step. If any of the icons are missing artwork, simply select the magnifying glass, choose an image from the list, and click Save. Now select Save to Steam and wait for this process to complete. Once it says done, you can return to gaming mode. Back in gaming mode, open your library and within collections, you should now have Cloud Services. Before launching any of these, I'd suggest going into the controller layout settings and applying the web browser template. Now all you'll need to do is log in. Repeat these steps for the other services and you're all done. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.